Hi there, it's Michael Lafito, author of the book, Luxury Listing Specialist, and I'm the founder of the Luxury Listing Specialist designation, better known as Lux or Luxury Specialist. In this week's video, we're gonna talk about the language of luxury. Does the language of luxury as an agent exist? Should you say certain things or not say certain things? That's what this week's topic is going to be about. But before I go into this week's topic, let's remind you that we are doing tons of free trainings out there for you as an agent on a weekly basis. You can go to LuxuryFridays.com, LuxuryFridays.com. And when you go there, if you click on the top button or you go to my YouTube channel and click and subscribe to the Marketing Luxury Group, make sure you subscribe to that. You'll be notified when we're doing our free online Luxury Fridays or other trainings. All right, let's talk about this video. Let's talk about today's topic. We're talking about the language of luxury. And don't forget, if you're getting value from this book or this video, please leave us a like, leave us a review. If you're enjoying our podcast, leave us a five-star review as well. So recently I was doing our luxury designation training. We've done four in-person trainings so far in 2022. At, and we've done them in Texas, we've done them down in, uh, in Colorado, in Miami, and we just got done doing one recently in Chicago. You'll see some pictures come across here. It was an amazing event. We had Jake and Elwood perform. We had the Blues Brothers. We did a mansion tour. It was really amazing. And if you're interested to see where our next training is going to be, go to LuxuryListingSpecialist.com and click on the Events tab, and that will tell you where our, our next events are going to be and where I'm speaking in the future. But again, we just certified a ton of agents from across the country. And at one of our trainings in the uh, Dallas market, and actually the San Antonio market, I had an agent, it was an older couple, husband, wife couple, they're a Remax agent, and they loved our training. After day one, they said this, this training was amazing, and we were getting ready to go on the mansion tour on day two. And they said, the only thing you didn't really talk about uh, during the training was the, the language of luxury and what to say and what not to say. And I said to this agent, we want you to feel confident. We don't want you to think too much when you're talking to a seller and you're on an appointment working with a buyer on, oh, should I say this or should I say that or what shouldn't I say or what should I say? We want you to be authentic. We want you to be yourself and come from a position of strength and be confident and be knowledgeable, but don't overthink yourself. And so I, that's why I don't cover a lot of languaging. We do talk about some things, your marketing agent versus a listing agent, things like that, but we don't really talk about the verbiage and, and the English you know, language a whole lot. So on day two, we toured this $17 million mansion during our Texas luxury training. And during the tour, before we got the tour started, the the marketing agent, the listing agent was there, and we had 30 agents uh, in the kitchen, and before she toured us, she wanted to point out a couple things. And I started asking her questions as well. She wasn't prepared, but she was a great sport. And number one question I asked is, 17 million, is that your price or the seller's price? And then throughout some other questions I had, she made it be known to everybody there that, oh, the owner's actually here in the kitchen. And she pointed out to the owner, to the whole crew, the whole class. So I said to the owner, when you interviewed her to be the agent to represent this home, if you don't mind me asking some questions. So I asked what went into the, you know, her process on deciding who was the best marketing agent to market the home. And she said, we, I wanted to hire somebody that looked like they had a track record of selling similar homes as mine and I wanted to trust the, the agent and like the agent, I said, did the language of luxury, was that a decision for you when you were determining whether or not she was the right agent? In other words, what she said or what she didn't say, and if she came across as really polished with the language of luxury, and she said, not at all. I wanted to make sure I trusted her or him, and I wanted to make sure they had some sort of experience, but I did not judge her based on she said this or not this. And so literally, I was like, I looked at the husband and wife couple at Remax, and I kind of was like, see, I told you. So again, I know that there's other trainers out there that really focus on the language of luxury and the English say this and don't say this. 
Of course, we do have our own terminology. We talk about luxury analysis report or luxury snapshot versus a CMA. Okay, so don't say, hey, I'm here, for, with, to, I'm, I'm gonna develop a CMA for your home. We talk about a luxury snapshot or a luxury analysis report. We talk about you're a marketing agent versus a listing agent, but we don't really go into the English language as far as say this and don't say this. We want you to come across as yourself and authentic. So I hope this was helpful. My name is Michael Lafito. Again, we cover topics like this or maybe topics where you wanna ask me anything. That's called AMA, you'll see that across. AMA, ask me anything. You go to luxuryfridays.com. The top link will tell you when the next upcoming training is. Click on that. We'll bring you live. You can type in your question to me or we'll bring you on camera. We'd love to, to be able to answer any question you have about today's video or another training in the future. Again, go to luxuryfridays.com. My name is Michael Lafito and I hope this has been valuable to you. If you're getting value, please leave us a like, leave us a review. Until next time, keep raising the bar in real estate and prove others wrong. Take care.